What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm going to show you how to use the hair tool in Cinema 4D to scatter stuff around. Now, like if you're working on a nature scene or you want to put trash throughout your area, you can always use like the cloner to clone grass, trees, trash, you know, whatever you're trying to put in your scene. But if you want to get more specific, like before you have to paint vertex maps and sometimes that didn't always work out right. So I found a method that you can actually use the hair tool in Cinema 4D Paint exactly where you want your items to be at and scatter at, and it works with the cloner. So let's get right into it. So I have a new project file started here. I'm gonna start by making a landscape because we're gonna act like we're actually making like a nature scene, but I'm gonna keep everything real basic here just to show you guys this technique. So for my sizing, let's do 1500 by 15 by 1500. And then borders at sea level, let's turn that off. We can actually raise up our, our Y hair to give us a little bit more height. So we're just gonna pretend this is our ground plane here and we wanna put rocks in a specific area. So normally most people would go in to the MoGraph cloner and then let's say we'll use spheres and the spheres are gonna be our fake rocks. So you put your sphere under your cloner, put your cloner, hook it up to your terrain here and it will scatter everywhere. If you want to be more specific, you can paint vertex maps, all that good stuff, but that really wasn't working the way that I wanted. So I was playing around and came across this technique. It's a little bit involved to get set up, but once you use it a lot, then it's just gonna become second nature. So I'm gonna put my sphere under my cloner and we're gonna use our, our, um, our hair tool to paint everything onto our terrain. So we find our tools under simulate. So I'm gonna go to simulate, and click on hair object. And now under my attributes, we have a few things that we're gonna to wanna to click here. Like for guides under root, we're gonna to wanna to do custom root. I put the segments down to one, and then we're gonna come back to guides here in a second. But click on hair, and for root, click on as guides. And then under editor, I don't think, you know, we don't do anything there. Generate, we don't wanna render hair, but for our type, we want to make it a spline so we can see where we're painting everything. So I'll make that a spline. Come over to dynamics. I'm going to turn off collisions. Um, I'm just going to unenable dynamics altogether because that's not what we want. And then under my cloner, we're going to go to mode, come down to object, and then we're going to make our object our hair. So let's make it our hair. And then under distribution, we want to make this one and you'll see why I'll show you after this and then I, we'll go back to hair we'll go under guides and we're actually going to make our landscape our link for our guides here and so now I should be able to paint on my terrain here and you'll see what's you'll see what's going to happen here so to be able to do that just click on simulate again come down to tools and at the very bottom here where it says add guides, you click on that and then just start painting away. And you can see there's our rock pile. So if we wanted a pile of rubble, a pile of leaves, you can manually paint them. And if we look, they're actually, well, let me make our sphere a little bit smaller. So you can see it's actually going along the contours of our terrain here. And it's all non-destructive. So if I make it flatter, everything is just is going to move with it so this is good for adding rocks leaves you know grass all that good stuff there and if there's a patch you're not happy with you want to delete it you just go back up to simulate and go to our hair selection tool and you can you can use any of these but we'll just go to live selection click back on hair and you'll see at the end of our splines we have these dots and those dots are representing what's at the end of the spline there so you just select them, they'll turn orange, then hit delete, and everything's deleted there. And the one thing you do wanna make sure of before you render, you wanna go to your render settings, and where it says render hair, you'll wanna make sure that's checked off. I've um, left that on before and it actually renders out a hair layer, which we don't want. But that's the basics of how you wanna paint your stuff on. And if you wanna paint back again, you just make sure you go back to your simulate, come down to what was it tools and then just add guides and keep adding them again and since it's all non-destructive you can add whatever you want in there like if you have forester 
we can click on our rock. Let's make our rock a little bit smaller. Let's say 0.1 maybe. And then just drag a Forrester rock into the cloner. And then we're gonna have to turn our cloner, let's see, so that's flat. So I think it should be ni negative 90 here. Oops, negative 90. I can make my rock a little bit smaller. There we go, like that. Now I can hold down control, select my rock, drag, and then I have another one. And then I'm just gonna hit randomize rock. Do that again. Have more rock randomization. I'm gonna kill this sphere here. So now we have our ground plane full of rocks. And remember before I told you guys to uh, make our count to one. So if we put it up higher, you see it, they're gonna be floating in the air. So that's why we wanted to make our count down to one. But yeah, that's the basic breakdown of how to use hair to scatter your objects. And since it is in a cloner, you still have access to all the other MoGraph tools. Like if you wanted to come in here, get to Effector and randomize it. So I don't wanna randomize my height. So I'm gonna turn off position, click on rotate. We could just randomize a rotation there. So you still have access to all those tools as well. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. I thought this was a very powerful tool and it's an unconventional way to use the hair tool, which I never really used before. And so I hope that helps you guys out for your nature scenes or whatever you want to scatter. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. You know, tell your friends about my channel. Definitely subscribe to it if you're not subscribed. Um, leave me a comment. I've been loving the comments you guys have been leaving for me. And until next time, keep creating and make sure you check back for what's new.